of you, and I know this is a topic which is very exciting. I think the previous session was interesting. Uh, sports and prayer together. So I'm sure all of you will be joining me when we look forward to the World Cup coming to India after a big gap of 12 years. So a lot of excitement, uh, I think a lot of uh, hearts involved and looking forward to what the World Cup in India is going to be like. Uh, this session that we are going to be uh, talking about today is a World Cup in the festive period on television. What's the view that marketers and brand communicators have on that? So um, let's start off with the basics of World Cup and festival happening together. It's, it's a period when brands are really looking at connecting with audiences, with consumers, uh, and wanting to achieve their brand KPIs. Uh, do we have uh, the team online? Because this is a question I wanted to start off asking Krishna. Yeah, I'm there, I'm there. Right. Hi, good morning. Hi Krishna. Sorry, you, you are behind us, so we, we can't really yeah, see I'm you, sorry. but the audience can. So, uh, so Krishna, I, I want to take your point of view. Your brands have been very, very active on cricket and uh, festival is a, is a key time for you. How do you look at the festive World Cup doing its magic for you on TV? Yeah. A very good morning to you all. Uh, firstly, my apologies uh, uh, for not being able to be uh, present there uh, in person. Uh, but nevertheless, technology has actually enabled uh, this and facilitated. Uh, well, uh, Aditi, um, so as far as uh, uh, cricket on TV and a combination of, of festive period, uh, uh, the, the timing as such happening, uh, 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 a key event like World Cup uh, taking place during the festive time, I think it's a, it's a bonanza for, for, for a, a loads of advertisers. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity. Uh, uh, what better than uh, a festive time to advertise and to be a part of uh, a sporting <coughs> event which is uh, 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 by leaps and bounds a religion. Okay, So we've seen and, and there is that uh, uh, extra, uh, I would say, uh, excitement uh, considering that uh, this is uh, coming to India after a, a span of about over two year, uh, 12 years, more over 12 years. And uh, importantly, uh, it's taking place uh, uh, now uh, in India. And uh, we've gone through uh, tough times uh, where we were not able to witness uh, uh, events like these earlier. But uh, I think uh, now, now with, uh, with the event being scheduled, uh, during the festive times, uh, uh, advertisers like Parlis, so, so uh, uh, we are extremely uh, keen to, to be a part of uh, such a sporting event. And, uh, uh, Events such like this coinciding with festive times uh, definitely is going to uh, uh, help a lot of brands achieve uh, a huge delta. So not just in terms of uh, sales but also on uh, several other uh, brand parameters like image and uh, equity uh, uh, getting enhanced. I think uh, uh, overall I am extremely excited uh, and looking forward to this event. Thanks, thanks, Krishna. Moving on to you, Pavan, uh, what do you feel? Because your audience is, is a very uh, targeted, very operational in terms of you know wanting to get their rights going. How do you think something like cricket helps you? You did a lot of activity with IPL, so obviously that gave you learnings. But how do you see that going to the next level with the World Cup? Yeah, um, I think uh, I'll just take a step back and you know just leave it, take it from the way he left. Yeah, sure. Um, Cricket World Cup in India after 11 odd years, uh, that itself is a big, big plus plus. It happening, coinciding with Diwali season, another thing. So, Cricket World Cup itself is a festival. One festival embracing another festival. I think it's a big, big plus. That's point number one. Uh, point number two, I, I personally feel that, uh, you know, there is a so-called emotional, you know, uh, affinity towards cricket and especially World Cup, which we Indians have, you know, we bleed blue. Uh, practically everybody sitting here will vouch for that. Uh, I personally feel this World Cup is ours. 
let's go back and see what trends are. 11, it was in, in India, we won it. 15, it was in Australia, Australia won it. 19, it was in England, England won it. This is us, okay? That's the premise which I'm operating with, okay? And with a lot of positivity, we at Rapido are, you know, walking the, that particular path. Now, coming on to your question, um, I personally feel that, you know, our TG is right up there. The market which we are catering to is absolutely a fine to cricket, in true sense of the word. For every marketer, there are few parameters which are sacrosanct, you know. Uh, your awareness goals, your consideration, your search. This is one event which will, which has proven to give you fantastic results in pass. You know, every time when we have done, we have seen our these three parameters going up by 1.8, 2x times. You know, up, which is phenomenal. The other thing which we have we have seen is that you know our app downloads considerably increase you know to the tune of 35 to 50 percent during that particular period so for us i think it's a very fertile period it's the potency is very high and the best part is that the people who latch on to you at this time are with you for a lifetime you know our uh, uh, lifetime consumer track studies have shown that you know the people who have joined us during world cup or during IPL, which is a green cricket thing, have stayed with us. So, yeah, I think it's absolutely the best time to be on air and on TV. So, uh, celebrating the power of, you know, feeding into the passion of a cricket fan and, and making them yours for life. Uh, wonderful uh, thought. Mac, I want to ask you a little aligned kind of a question. You know, we know that cricket fans will watch cricket and they will go to the World Cup and watch it on TV and, and watch it with friends. The question that I want to ask you is that, you know, does something like a World Cup actually bring in more than the cricket fans? Because like Pavan said, it's a celebration. It's, it's you know, something bigger than just the sport alone. The sport itself is obviously the driver. But when you watch cricket on television, it is not just about the fan. It's, it's a much larger celebration. It's probably a family moment. How do you see that and, and how do you see that being leveraged for all your brands? Uh, see, as you rightly stated, uh, World Cup is going to be, uh, it's a unique event for India, right? Uh, unique in event also because it's one of those platforms or one of uh, the sporting plays where we are the champions, right? And we have been champions a couple of times and we continue to be a uh, champion team and we continue to be the uh, biggest watcher of the game globally and we continue to be the largest investors of the game globally, right? So that is not two ways about whether cricket works or not, whether it will be watched or not. The interesting part uh, is that question where you made, is there more fans coming into the World Cup? World Cup brings in a jingoism that an IPL does not yeah? That jingoism is something that uh, is special, is unique. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you an example of a sport which is not so popular in this country, but uh, when that event happens, there is this huge jingoism that you see happening, is the FIFA World Cup. So if you look at the world, uh, football as such, be it the club uh, football, uh, the, the number of people watching it is limited. But as soon as it's a FIFA World Cup, the numbers just shoot up because there is so much of euphoria around Everybody wants to be a part of it. Everybody wants to know something that's happening, that excitement that's happening here. With the World Cup happening in India, the whole interest, the jingoism, the interest that will be there, the excitement that will be there, will be, I think, from a three-year-old onwards. I mean, it's, I'm not going to talk about 14 plus here. It's going to be three-year-old onwards. I mean, I, I'm, I know that crows and crows of people would want to go and watch it in the stadium. They can't. I hope they do some great fan park so that there, there would be a larger uh, no, uh, celebration of this event that is happening. Uh, so, I mean, there's not two ways about it. I mean, the event is that big. So, everybody uh, would be uh, invested in it. And it is also so patriotic, right? I mean, somewhere down the line, as Pawan rightly stated, uh, it's happening in India. Yeah, Everybody of us want to see India being the champion. 
I know. I hope what he said comes true because the last two uh, examples or the last yeah. three examples is the right example what he stated. So looking forward for it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I totally agree with you because I was just having a conversation today right here when uh, somebody told me that you know when you watch something like a World Cup on the screen. Uh, everybody's excited and, and I think she was saying that her, her one-year-old nephew over the last four years, you know, he's now learned what is a four, what is a six, he knows the movements because that's the power of, you know, everybody coming together and watching it together on, on the large screen because that's where the experience is, that's where the passion, uh, you know, sort of really comes alive. Uh, uh, with that, follow me, I want to move to you. You have associated with cricket and, and you know, brought different kind of people together. Typically, you know, one thing is a woman's brand. Why would you want to be on cricket? Though we know that the woman viewership of the World Cup is reasonably high. There's, there's many women fans uh, in the fold. But, uh, you know, building this thing of people watching together and families watching together, how have you seen that play out? Because, uh, you, like you were sharing, you know, you've addressed not just the consumer, but also your trade. Uh, through the partnerships that you've done with cricket. How are you seeing that pan out for you in the World Cup? Um, hi, firstly sorry for logging in and I couldn't be physically present. Nevertheless, uh, the good thing is once you get to speak after everybody, uh, I think the, everybody has highlighted uh, most the, the, the important aspects that we could have discussed about uh, World Cup on TV. Uh, rightly so, um, emotion. We are all high on emotion when it comes to this event at this point of time and um, uh, it is, it, it, it's a celebration. What happens is if I can just turn it a bit not from the property perspective but let's understand it from a brand perspective and as mentioned earlier that there are various parameters that a brand takes off while association, while associating with a property like this. Uh, and it could be different for different brands. For example, if I were to typically talk of the brand that I represent or work for, I, we still feel that awareness plays a very important part in our life. There is still a lot of people who need to be aware that Joy is an Indian homegrown skincare brand as such. There is a substantial amount of people I still need to make them aware of and then obviously for this consideration and there are other funders, bottom line. Uh, in this case, imagine uh, us associating with a property like uh, World Cup, which immediately makes the awareness portion go very high, at, you know, w w within a span of a couple of uh, days. Reason being, uh, it's agnostic to the core uh, TG that I'm talking to, right? Uh, I firstly need to be known to everybody that what I sell, what I do, and then probably the funnel goes down. So in our case, for uh, if I were to keep uh, awareness as one of the K, you know, KRAs and KPIs in the next couple of years, which we feel we, should, we have to drive, uh, uh, associating with something like this uh, gives us an immediate boost. And uh, whether it is a 14 years old girl, 14 year old boy, uh, a man or a woman or anybody for that matter within the age group who uh, I want to reach out to them and the first thing that I want them to know is that oh, it's joy and this is skincare and they're a brand and then followed by the fact that I have x number of products and some products are good for this or uh, for the woman or whether it is the OTG which would be a young girl or a mature woman that's the second stage so every brand can look at a property like this and figure out what is it that this association can bring to them and of course, there is no denying the fact that there is so much of hula hoop around it. It's an emotional journey. There's festivity. The spirits are high. Um, any event of this sort makes the whole. The people who are playing the sport, people who are watching the sport, people who are ancillary to the sport, the overall environment of the country is in a you know happy uh, you know space. The spirits are high. Uh, so yeah, overall that is where we all stand when it comes to. Uh, this year's World Cup on TV and for us again as I told you uh, television being another medium which gives me uh, the reach factor so uh, the World Cup put together TV the brand KPI that I can look forward to makes this a superb association when I look at it from the point of view that what I want to drive out of this association and this is typically from the brand perspective that I do. Similarly, I'm sure there'll be other categories and other brands who will have different ways of, uh, you know, associating with the property. Absolutely. Uh, Krisha, moving on to you, you know, a lot of what Paulami said 
uh, probably is true for you, but how do you see that uh, as panning out? How do you see it as a brand platform? What are the things you seek from uh, uh, an association or a presence uh, when you look at the World Cup on TV, especially in the festive season? Because you have special packs, you have special promotions which happen during that time. How do you see that coming together? Yeah. So, uh, Aditi, it's a, it's a clearly a very, very high impact uh, property. Uh, so, like Paula Pol rightly mentioned, so it gives you an instant reach. Okay, so there is a large viewership, and uh, and we've seen that in the times where uh, overall uh, television viewership or ratings are gradually going down. So, say for example, a decade ago, uh, typically a soap would deliver as high as maybe five, six uh, kind of a rating, or even other impact reality shows would uh, would deliver that kind of rating. Uh, ratings uh, today uh, even such impact properties are not able to deliver ratings overall we've seen that the ratings have sort of tapered but uh, an event like cricket uh, world cup uh, still uh, delivers a, a great impact and an in, and gives us an instant reach so that helps uh, uh, us uh, generate immediate uh, returns in terms of uh, sales first and foremost and uh, get, uh, helps us uh, generate delta for uh, various festive offerings that we bring in. So right from Raksha Bandhan as we sort of uh, get into the festive period we uh, come out with uh, festive packs, gifting packs, uh, uh, an assortment of our various products uh, and like you know, at a very very affordable price point anywhere around 150 rupees onwards up till 500 rupees so these are all stacked up so uh, it begins like with Raksha Bandhan goes on to the uh, uh, Navratri or Durga Puja for that matter and then culminates into uh, Diwali and then uh, eventually with the uh, Christmas and New Year festivities um, so so that so uh, an event like association uh, with an event like World Cup actually helps us uh, deliver uh, on on uh, all of these parameters uh, straight away direct correlation on the sales uh, along with various uh, uh, like I said earlier uh, imagery parameters as well. Thanks, thanks Krishna. So Mac, coming to you, you are handling a plethora of different kinds of brands with different kinds of objectives. What is your view of you know how brands should be looking at the World Cup on TV? What is it that they should be seeking? And what is it that they should be cognizant of when they want to explore their presence? Let me just set some uh, artifacts. <coughs> what is the kind of reach that uh, TV can give us? At a 2 plus, close to around 830 million. Yeah. At 14 plus, around 650 million, right? These are the number of people TV is able to reach, right? With the World Cup being there, I believe that at least 80 to 90 percent of the people will be met. That is because uh, World Cup will not just be on the pay, it will also be on the FT, right, on the DD. So you have uh, the opportunity to see the game is going to be significant. So with this kind of a scale, which is almost double of what uh, a digital screen could give you, uh, the opportunity to reach the maximum number of people are very high. Uh, if I have to look at why do people use TV? <coughs> Most of the marketeers use TV from a branding standpoint. If I have to look at the branding spends as such, uh, even if you take the branding spends that happen on digital, if I look at the total branding spends that are there on the market, uh, close to around 48 to 50 percent of the branding spends goes on TV. Digital takes around 25 to 28 percent and around 20-22 uh, percent of the spends are on other medium, right? From a branding standpoint. So when, from a branding standpoint, when this is the biggest medium which can give you the biggest reach, so the opportunity for all the advertisers would be is to kind of ride on this medium. There would be many digital first brands uh, which are maybe in a very early stage and are not enough position to kind of uh, know, get to so many, I mean, or not currently in their game plan to meet so many number of people primarily because they are not able to service them. But there are many digital first brands which have a huge penetration. So every time you see them wanting to reach more people, they use TV as the medium. Absolutely. If you look at any of the other, uh, the, what I call the evergreen brand, that's the FMCGs, right? I think they are the ones who actually save 
a uh, lot of uh, uh, the uh, no uh, what do you call uh, the broadcasters etc in tough times so when i look at the evergreen brands and when they look at this period which is contributing almost around 35% of the total spends that happens of the total oh, index yes. in that period that is a significant amount of money that's going to go on tv to reach those number of people through a world cup as a medium if to this if I, when i look at where i am today if i look at the automobile industry there are around 11 new car launches that are happening uh, have happened continue to happen there are around 5 or 6 new bike brands that are uh, happening automobiles love cricket yeah and i don't think so there is a better platform to actually use and make the best use of it so i see them coming big time on that the gaming uh, the ecom uh, uh, players have always been looking out for cricket to kind of reach to their larger set of audience so when i look at the numbers and i when i look at the objectives of the brand marketers i i believe this is the medium which is going to give you the max reach i'm not just talking from a branding standpoint here and from a branding standpoint i don't think so there is any other medium which gives you a larger uh, uh, reach than uh, tv no no absolutely i mean there is nothing which today beats i would say the power of the big screen even today and uh, the kind of associations or the equity that brands can build and i'm, I'm sure whether it's pavan polomi or krishna they will like stand with us in saying that if you have a brand which needs to build equity and reach then television remains the best medium and and what better a platform than something like world cup cricket and even with ott being free yes yes even with ott being free still the largeness of the screen is is something which draws people for combined viewership uh, you know for the passion that you can have and the time spent yes i i don't think so uh, the small screen uh, gives you uh, that kind of a time spent then the large screen gives Absolutely. and it's very important to spend time on cricket because there are so many breaks and it is important for the hats to be noticed <laughs> if you don't spend time <laughs> that, you don't a, watch, plug, get yeah. to watch it <laughs> that, that's that's like a plug uh, so pavan coming back to you you know there's an interesting point that he raised that uh, you want to uh, be on cricket for kpis but but as a brand you have a balance <coughs> to build so when something like the world cup comes you know once like we said in india in 12 years how do you look at your brand budgets do you, do you really want to put aside money for an event like this beyond what you would typically do in a festive period uh, because for you it's an everyday uh, thing unlike like let's say what follow me or krishna said where festive becomes a larger uh, pie for them to invest in but for you where it's an everyday story do you look at your investments and and segment it differently given that there is a world cup versus what would be normally the case okay um i'll answer that question that uh, but i'll take just take a step back uh, this is something which is very close to uh, my heart uh, see there's uh, no denying the fact you know so uh, you heard mac doling out all the numbers right you know breach hai ye hai you know a number is there baki sab mithya hai you know uh those are very very important things you know as marketers we look at that we look at reach we look at frequency we look at affinity scores we look at salience this and all all, the, all that and all that and more uh, i personally feel that there is something which is little more than that because all those things are very important but they are all very clinical okay they are very transactional the consumer has really evolved okay he want he or she wants to see that delta jo aap mein hai aur dusre mein nahi hai you know i think abhi tak we have been playing the game of usp you know ye hamara unique selling proposition hai we use that and all that stuff we go to masters like mac you know they develop stuff for us and you know we go gaga about it and we put money behind it and all this stuff you know. we at rapido feel you know there is something which is little more than that which is the unique emotional feature proposition you know aap usko emotion bol lijiye feeling bol lijiye that is what it is you know and world cup is a time where the emotions are running all time high okay how do you how can you ride that wave you know 
I think that is the question. You know, if you can put forward that your brand's unique emotional proposition or unique feeling proposition, you are home and dry. It's easier said than done. Okay, but that's what we strive for. You know, we we try to do that. We took this as a big case in point. La last last IPL, which finished on 24th of May, with that singular objective, you know, we crafted that entire tone and voice, the proposition, and we went to the market. And the results are there for everybody to see that, you know. So I think that is what it is, you know. Nothing bigger than World Cup, and nothing bigger than World Cup happening in your own country, and there is no better kick and fun than beating Pakistan in your own country. Okay, so I think. That is that is the the crux to it. Now coming back to your question, um, yes, World Cup is a property for which you plan. Okay, and even if I have to break the bank for the, that rainy day, I will break that bank. Okay, because it is one property which, if you have a good proposition, you can ride the wave like no tomorrow. I hope I've answered. Oh, totally, totally, and uh, I, I really like your thought of uh, you know having an emotional. There, there is an emotion in the in the country at that time. We know people will be feeling really involved and and wanting to you know consume the content, wanting to watch it, and therefore, if there is a way for brands to connect, if there is a way for brands to ride and and make their space in lives of consumers, that is absolutely something that you know all of us try to create and seek for brands. So, Krishna and follow me. Would you be looking at special creatives? I mean, I know Pavan had special creatives for IPL. Would you be looking at creating special creatives? Because uh, for uh, both of you, I mean, there is a World Cup campaign and then there is a larger presence because there is a whole series of, of festive campaigns which is there. So how would you look at, you know, your uh, communication going on World Cup versus communication going on other platforms at the same time? I would say, okay. So, uh, so, you know, as strangely, so we've all mentioned something. Uh, there are a lot of different categories. And I think this is a very vast discussion, which will time will not permit us to have the same. And as we were discussing earlier, that Mac handles different categories, we'll have a wider perspective. For example, I come from an FMCG skincare, okay? Uh, there's Rapido, which is more service led. So each industry's communication also is very different. We have tangible products to showcase. Okay, uh, again, depends upon what I want at that point of time. Do I just want a proposition of my brand philosophy coming forward or is it a particular launch of a product that I want to ride on with this property or is there some festive offering that I want to communicate to a large mass, for example, if there is a package deal that I'm doing which can directly translate to a sale. So there's a whole lot of other discussions that go into you depending on the category and what the product and the brand is wanting to extract out of this association. The good one uh, observation that I had had in the last couple of meetings with the channels and all is that nowadays uh, they are also going beyond the regular FCT and there are programs and packagings which are happening around uh, the main content which gives you the ability to also associate in different ways rather than just running a 20 second FCT during the breaks. So uh, coming back to your uh, question that each to each some people would like to go on their services riding on their FCT. Okay, you want to layer it up a little more and talk about a new launch. So maybe you can use this around the during beyond the FCT elements and see how you can integrate a particular product or within the talks or the shows that is happening around it. Or it could be something as simple as taking your brand philosophy forward, which we did experiment uh, earlier with another uh, property where we spoke about um, women's cricket in general but uh, at this point of time if I were to say for World Cup I don't think that is the uh, step we are going to talk we're not talking about the brand philosophy personally we will be taking the route of a product 
proposition and uh, let's see how if there is a possibility of integrating and talking about it within the surround using the you know plain vanilla FCT during the uh, you know ad, ad breaks. Great, yeah. uh, Krishna, uh, over to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like like Paulami mentioned, so we've had a fantastic run recently with uh, IPL, where we had actually created some um, some new set of commercials for a few brands. Actually, we had chosen select few brands. We had uh, two brands uh, on uh, the SD feed, and we had the Platina range of brands on the uh, HD feed. Uh, so, as as we uh, move into the festive season. We have a lot more uh, new creatives, but then yeah, these are not exclusively made for uh, for the World Cup as such. But these are uh, pretty, uh, uh, I would say, thematic in that uh, sense. But these are uh, freshly made creatives, and uh, uh, yeah. So so besides having plain uh, FCT, plain vanilla FCT proposition, we uh, definitely do explore various other elements. Uh, where we could actually integrate our brand, uh, and uh, and we can uh, we, we could actually have a a, a very very uh, engaging kind of a communication with our audiences. Uh, not just that, but then um, we also uh, sort of uh, take this opportunity uh, to to create a lot more surround. So uh, with with an uh, with an opportunity uh, like this, where um, uh, where where the, the tournament is happening uh, in our country. So it, it helps us generate that much extra buzz amongst the entire trade partners. So, so we do a lot of initiatives uh, uh, pertaining to the, the event uh, with our trade partners, with our field force. And of course, our, our, our presence on the event also brings in that much more excitement. And, uh, and we, we do conduct contests. Uh, like, you know, it's a, it's a long-term contest where uh, we say, okay, if you sort of uh, quantity purchase linked uh, offers or schemes, uh, if you achieve a certain uh, number, you will be entitled to visit the tournament, etc. So there are uh, uh, there are several India uh, games, there are several non-India games, which are also uh, going to be extremely and equally exciting. And of course, uh, there is a big game between uh, India and Pakistan. So I, I was just uh, going through a few numbers. So we were uh, present on 2019 World Cup, uh, which occurred in UK. Uh, so uh, we'd seen that, uh, uh, so India matches performed pretty well, delivering as much as a, a TBR of six in, in a two plus, uh, that's typically uh, the parlay TG, uh, two plus ABC and CCS. Um, uh, if you look at an India-Pakistan match, it delivered as high as 9 TBR. So that's like phenomenal. Just imagine a TBR like 9. So I am I'm really looking forward to the game here. Uh, and not just one game, I am looking for, forward to the entire tournament. And I really feel that we will be able to generate uh, like really good numbers. And, and uh, we will be able to do justice to our investments as well. Thanks, Krishna. So, Mac, uh, uh, hearing you know what Polomi and Pavan and uh, Krishna said, uh, what do you think is going to be the right way to look at how much a World Cup and, and how to measure the effectiveness for brands? Uh, because we are talking about FCT, where we have viewership, we are talking about other elements. Yeah, how do we think is is the best way? What should a brand think about when they sort of start packaging things together for themselves? Uh, See, it's very difficult to actually uh, put a number or a percentage, right? But I would go back to the uh, key brand objectives that they have. I mean, Pavan was mentioning, Krishna was uh, mentioning about some of the key objectives, right? Uh, now, uh, depending on that objective is how I would say that your investments should start getting uh, skewed. Um, there are brands uh, which have a significant amount of money at their end and especially there are many brands which keep almost close to 40% of their overall investment during the festive season, uh, for the festive season, right? Yeah. So those brands which have a significant amount of money during the uh, festive season can ride on the entire tournament. And, and what I, why I say that it's a good investment to make on the entire tournament also is because there were some numbers that Krishna was mentioning earlier, right? Those are the facts. 
and those numbers according to me will bump up by at least 30 percent because the game is happening in India. Yeah. Uh, the other part, interesting part in this World Cup tournament is that the non-India matches also, if you have to look at it, kind of delivers almost around uh, one and a half to two TVR. Yeah. Because if you look at the finals, which was a non-India match last season, almost delivered five. Yeah. Right. So if you look at some of these facts, right, there are numbers to be driven on. One. Two is that there will be many regional clients also who would want to take this right on to this brand wagon, right? So you will have brands which will only invest in TN market or only South market or only in uh, Karnataka. So there are these opportunities that's been created by the broadcasters. So you will see that the brands will be riding eye on that. I mean, I see another category which will be doing pretty well in this uh, uh, on this platform would be uh, paints because paints yeah. is the season for them. Festivity, uh, weddings coming in. So that I see them also coming in. And I also believe that this event is like this big fat Indian wedding with so much of madness being there. So you are going to see a lot of uh, small brands also wanting to be in that big event, right? So because they know being there, like as Pawan was mentioning uh, earlier, where you are, when you are part of this whole euphoria of passion and craziness, right? The brand also gets a certain love and recognition, uh, which is unparalleled. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I think, like you rightly pointed out, the last World Cup's final, even though it was non-India, was nail biting. I think to the last. Uh, New Zealand won it, but England has a trophy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so you're right. So I mean, really a lot of passion, and and this year we will have a lot more uh, happening, and all the more reason because it's in the country. So definitely, brands will be looking at you know how to leverage, uh, how to get their uh, best part there, whether it's at an overall level or regional levels, and and what is the right objective they are trying to fulfil. So absolutely agree. Uh, just just to sort of uh, sum up for, for uh, all that we spoke about before maybe we open it to some questions to the audience is, is really that uh, the whole grandeur of, of the World Cup uh, coming to India in the festive season is like a, a, a double lottery I would say because it's in festive and brands are looking to invest and they are looking to make the best out of uh, you know what the season can bring to them and nothing like a platform like the World Cup on television where it's not just the hardcore fans but, but a much larger audience which actually comes together to watch cricket uh, almost like a family celebration. That's the moment you're in, you're together, you're, you're looking forward to it. Great weather. Like <laughs> that, that, that's, like a, a, that's like an India bonus, you know. So, so you don't want it to be in the summers. It's, it's nice time, you will have a lot of action. So, so great looking forward to that. And, and with that, I'll open it up to the audience in case you would like to ask any questions. Could you just help? Uh, I think there's a gentleman there. Uh, yeah, good evening. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, so my question is with Pawan, sir. So, uh, sir, with ba uh, Rapido bike prices um, hiking in Bangalore and uh, with increasing road rages case, uh, cases uh, with um, people, so what is your take on this uh, like, um, like auto people, they are just, you know, pouncing on uh, the people who are taking ca uh, bike rides other th rather than auto. And this case has also gone to the court. So what is your take on this and how it is impacting you on the business side? Uh, so Chief, uh, you mentioned the case is in the court, so anything which is sub -judice, I should not be commenting. <laughs> Anyways, on the lighter side. Uh, see, uh, I think it's, 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 it's part of the business, that is what it is, you know. Uh, auto drivers having a particular say, you know, they have a point of view which needs to be listened and addressed. Bike taxi is an integral part of this society now. It's it's part of the fiber, the society fiber, as I say, because it it's a big big enabler. Okay, uh, a progressive economy, a progressive nation as ours, cannot turn a blind eye to a proposition which is the master in first mile and last mile solutioning. 
okay uh, so i think i will just like to articulate that that you know this is something which is very important because it solves for you in a very big and a different way uh, but yes there are certain you know uh, uh, facets which are playing uh, you know are in and around it uh, let's leave it like at that because it's subjudice and all that stuff uh, but very soon i can assure you very soon uh, you know you will see a policy which is substantially in favor of a shared mobility so you know uh, yeah i'll just leave it at that thank you so much any any other questions uh, any of you would like to ask uh, the panel so with that i i think we are good we probably impressed everyone already yeah. they have they've all agreed yeah. that yeah, that I think cricket we're clear with what we say yeah so cricket mm -hmm. world cup nothing like it i'm sure everybody has fingers crossed uh, we will have some cycle agarbatti's also you know like going in prayers saying that we we must all win as per pavan's analysis i think yeah. pavan <laughs> i think pavan will be lo looking for that uh, last ad before the india captain picks up the world Pro, cup yeah. yeah so he'll <laughs> say that that's that's the position that i want yeah. so so with that uh, thank you thank you it's been great uh, wonderful talking to you krishna polomi pavan and mac and uh, with that we'll hand over to you thank you thank you so much thank, thank you all thank you so much